This video will let you know how to install the uh, your appropriate firmware on the micro SD card so the X key knows how to properly emulate your DVD drive. So this little micro SD card is what stores the firmware and it goes inside here. Um, but before we do that we just need to put some files on the micro SD card. So you can if you have an, uh, an SD card reader on your computer, you just stick that in there like that and put it inside your SD card reader. If you don't have an SD card reader, you can try like an old camera that might be able to read it from there. Uh, or if you have a USB reader, um, micro SD card USB reader, you can just use that. So put the SD card in your computer and click on the drive. You should see something similar to this. Uh, this is a junk folder. I think this was accidentally left on, on our ones. Um, so it might just look like this. So rootfs and uimage are the two files that um, should be on there. Um, I guess before you kind of uh, install it in your X key, you might want to update these files. Uh, so jump into uh, your explorer, register your, before deleting them, you know, register your X key on the website, uh, go to the download section and download the latest firmware and you should have something, uh, some new files, like here are my new files here. So you want to copy the two that are on there, delete, and then just uh, copy the new files, just so you have the latest firmware ready to go, and then just paste them back on the micro SD card. Now this video is for the slim and the fat, I'm not going to make two videos because there's a lot of uh, overlap, um, but basically what you need to do um, is, I guess we'll start with slim, it's a lot easier. Um, Here's a bunch of files that I dumped with the uh, with the Lizard um, for a Slim console. It's a lot of files, as you can see. Um, it might be different if you use Jungle Flasher. As you can see here on the right, um, a lot of the files are kind of really small. Um, the only file that you need is is the larger one that's about 256 kilobytes, which is source uh, underscore dummy dot bin. So. What we need to do is copy that to your USB stick and you, you want to name that dummy.bin So that's it for the, the slim, nice and easy uh, I'll just delete that file now of course you, you wouldn't be doing that if you have a slim um, and I'll do the fat one now, um, fats are a little bit different, I guess. Um, they, the X key wants a full dump of the firmware. So um, these are the firmware files that I have here for, um, it's an Xbox fat console, it's a light on drive, um, which I think probably 90% of users have a, a light on drive. The rest uh, are usually dead or, or being used with Samsungs. But regardless of what type it is, you probably don't, you either have uh, a dummy file, kind of like what, what you have to use for the slim, um, or maybe a custom firmware file. You might not have an original dump um, of your, your firmware, so I'm going to teach you how to how to convert that into original firmware. Um, you need to download the latest Jungle Flasher. Uh, you can download that from jungleflasher.net. Just Google it. So double click. It's a free program. Double click on Jungle Flasher. Might pop up with an error saying it can't find certain drivers. It doesn't matter. Um, pretty complex software, um, but you don't need to really know that much. What you're doing is there's a section here which is the source. That's the firmware that you've got. And then target is what you want to convert it into. So whatever firmware dump you've got, maybe from uh, someone who monitored your console previously or maybe you made the dump yourself, drag it into target. It's going to ask, do you want to automatically auto load uh, light on LT Plus software? No. Okay, so um, a, a really important thing to mention, um, as you can see on, on this console here, this is a, a newer console with a, uh, a fat key extract, but a lot of drives got updated with the latest, um, you know, the 1.3 uh, the one three update by Microsoft that flashes your DVD drive uh, now. If you have an old dump of your firmware, you still need to kind of spoof it to the new firmware if you update your console. So make sure your console is on the latest firmware before you do all this. 
you don't want to be emulating an old firmware, you want to be emulating a new firmware. Um, and then your target is original firmware. So um, this doesn't come with Jungle Flasher, but I've, uh, there's a firmware folder here, and uh, I've got all my files here, but I guess um, you just have to kind of uh, Google Google the files. Uh, I guess you search for maybe LT 1.91 or maybe LT Max by the time you're installing this. And then you have to find your original file, uh, your, your, the original firmware for what type of drive you have. If you have a BenQ, it'll be in here. Uh, if you have a Tachi, it'll be in here. Samsung will be in here. So I've got a light on fat. So I'm double clicking this folder here. Post or pre uh, 13141. I want to do post. That's the new firmware. Here's LT Plus. It's custom firmware. I don't want that. I want original firmware. And here's the original file. So as I said, you just kind of uh, drag it in to the target section. And there's a file there. As you can see, the DVD keys don't match. That's why I click this magical button here, spoof the target. And that's it. All the information from your firmware, whatever it is, it's custom firmware, old firmware, gets copied into the new firmware. And this is how the X key wants the firmware. It doesn't want it any other way. Next thing you do is you click Save to File. And I guess you can save it directly onto your um, micro SD card. So uh, I'll go to, uh, I guess, Desktop, Computer, Removable Drive. And it's trying to save it as, as um, Light Custom Firmware. So I'm just going to rename that to uh, yep, firmware dot bin. I'll click save, and that should be it. If I go back on my micro SD card, that's what I've got there. So this always stays there. These two always change, but you won't need to uninstall the device um, and put it into your computer every time. Just put the latest one on the first time you install it, uh, and after that, um, when you do is, is when you download off the these off the XK website. You just drag them onto your hard drive, uh, and when the X key boots up and it takes a change, it will automatically copy these files over. Uh, then you'll be asked to reset your Xbox, and then it'll be on the newer firmware. So you can do it all uh, externally, but since you're just setting up the device for the first time, you might as well just put the latest one on there to begin with. Okay. Now we have to insert the micro SD card with your original firmware onto the, uh, the X key. Really simple to do. This micro SD card has a latch, which if you slide it down, it'll open it up. That's when you insert the micro SD card. Just place it in gently like that. And then you pull the latch back, press down, and then slide it up. Really simple stuff. Anything you can you can stuff up is if uh, when you when you flick it open, uh, the latch goes into the lock position, and then when you go to close it, um, like that, it's not in place, uh, and you don't press down, you'll break the latch. Just slide it up again, um, push inwards so it goes back into the, uh, the open position. Then you can gently uh, close it and then lock it again. So make sure it stays, when you open it, it stays in the open position until you go to close it. Uh, and that's it. Before installing the X key inside your console, you really need, it's very, very, very important to insulate this, uh, this main board. Um, otherwise, uh, all these kind of important components are gonna to be touching up against metal and either uh, causing harm to your Xbox 360 or the device itself. Um, now you got, Two options, uh, the, the uh, later batches might come with uh, a cardboard cutout already made for you. Uh, you can use something like this, which is just electrical tape. You can buy from, from any kind of hardware store or um, supermarket. It should only cost you a dollar for a roll. Um, and just kind of put double thickness and, and place it over all uh, the front and back. Um, otherwise, um, included in the link below, uh, in the YouTube description. Uh, I've included a cardboard cutout of this um, from the XKey team. Uh, when you print it out, make sure, as it says here, uh, print it at 100%, don't allow it to pay scale. Um, sometimes it kind of shrinks it down a little bit. So to print it exactly the right size, 100%. Now, don't print it on normal paper. Um, 
because the components are kind of too sharp and they'll, they'll poke through um, and the insulation is, is pointless. So print it on kind of thick cardboard paper if you have it. Uh, if you're going to go to the store and buy thick cardboard paper, you might as well just buy electrical tape and, uh, and just do it that way. So here's one that I printed myself on some cardboard paper and uh, basically it kind of just looks like that when you've uh, got it all ready. So obviously that's the orientation there. So it's pretty simple, just put it in like that. As you can see, everything kind of slots nicely like that. Now there's two tabs here. Uh, I guess you can just use some normal tape. I'm using electrical tape, but you know, uh, it doesn't really matter. One and two. So at least that way, there's no metal kind of uh, exposed at all. There's a bit of metal here on the housing, but that's, that's grounded, so that doesn't uh, actually matter if that touches anything. Um, but yeah, so I guess now we will show you how to install it in the Slim or Fat Console. So click here for the Fat Console and click over here for the Slim Console.